a preventable disease almost consigned to history. Diphtheria can cause breathing problems, paralysis, heart failure and death. A vaccine had all but wiped it out. But now, some countries are seeing a resurgence. What's causing this new health crisis? The Yemen conflict is fertile ground for an outbreak. The airborne disease had not been seen in the country for 25 years. But more than 600 cases have been reported since September 2017. At least 35 people have died. In South Asia, Rohingya refugees driven across the border into Bangladesh are cramped into unsanitary living conditions. This is a very challenging situation because uh, every day there are coming more children and the challenge to, to get the vaccines is also something that is very difficult. More than 4,000 suspected cases of diphtheria have been reported among them and 32 deaths. Though highly contagious, diphtheria is easily treated. But effective vaccines are only widely available in high-income countries. In Yemen, vaccination coverage has been well below the required level, around 70% in the past five years. Limited access to public health care for the Rohingya has resulted in a low vaccination rate among the refugee population, something humanitarian organizations are trying to remedy. But in Yemen, delivery of antibiotic treatment is being complicated by a Saudi-led blockade of essential goods. Waste fills the streets in Taiz and Sana'a, and cholera is rampant. It is fair to say that Yemen is one of the worst places on earth to be a child. More than 11 million Yemeni children are today in acute need of humanitarian assistance. That's almost every single Yemeni boy and girl. The blockade is due to be reimposed, but health officials are calling for ports to remain open to allow continued delivery of life-saving goods. This country uh, has been drip-fed now for two years uh, and it needs intensive care. So it's not just about a couple of ships in Hodeida or a couple of trucks uh, crossing from uh, Saudi Arabia. It needs much more care. With conflict continuing to force people into living conditions where disease spreads unchecked and obstacles prevent medicine reaching those who need it, it's a crisis that could easily spiral.